We took on the green Magnus. We took on the red Magnus. Today, it's time to face the blue Magnus in Immortals of Avium. What's up, YouTube Zero here? And today, I have the boss battle against the blue Magnus in Immortals of Avium. In this video, I'll show you the boss battle against the blue Magnus. And I'll just talk about it a little bit. Now, of course, it's the blue Magnus, so he's going to have a blue shield. Break out your blue spells because that's going to be the best way to whittle down the blue Magnus's shield. Something that's unique about this battle, as opposed to the other battles against the different Magni, is that this battle has two rounds. That's right, after you beat the blue Magnus for the first round, you're going to face a couple of adds and the blue Magnus is going to pop up again so just be aware that this is not one round this is two rounds and you can see there i'm trying to use the red lens and it's not doing anything that's because of the shield so just be aware you got to utilize those blue spells to get rid of that shield and then you can go to town on the blue magnus now outside of just really taking on the magnus you can see on the battlefield there are enemies around, but because this is a battle where you have allies and the Blue Magnus has allies, they're really just focusing on each other. I didn't have too much of a problem with adds attacking me while I was taking on the Blue Magnus in round one. After the first round, there are adds that you have to take out before it progresses to round two. But prior to that, you can see I'm really just focused on the Blue Magnus, where the other two boss battles against the Green Magnus and the Red Magnus, the Green Magnus, it was just a hodgepodge of enemies. The Red Magnus, I was able to take out those other enemies fairly quickly because I did unlock Vortex at that point. But the other two rounds did have a lot of enemies where it's really only you and you have to take them all out. Whereas this one, you can more focus on the Blue Magnus and not have to worry too much about any ads, at least in round one. Now, this one, it wasn't too bad. The other ones weren't too bad as well. I can't tell you which one I found the easiest. I think all of them were relatively the same in terms of difficulty. They did throw a little bit of different ads based on the boss, but in reality, all of them had their uniqueness, but none of them were more difficult than the other. If you are more of a fan of a certain type of spell, you could probably say that that one would have been the easiest if you're not used to utilizing blue spells. This one may be a little bit harder because your blue normal spell, I'll say, the one in the right hand, is your more range spell. So depending upon which wristband you have equipped, there could be a lot of recoil. So if you're not used to that, then it could present a little bit of trouble for you because you're not used to the recoil. But it looks like we are getting closer to round two where we do have these behemoths attacking. If you have Vortex, I recommend utilizing that. It is absolutely one of the best spells in the game. It really does make battles so much easier. Get enemies controlled by Vortex, suck them in, and then just go to town on them. It doesn't really matter what spell. I prefer utilizing the frag fire of the red while all of the enemies are encompassed in the Vortex, but depending upon what they're weak to, just utilize that. Vortex is absolutely amazing for getting rid of adds insanely quickly. But after you get rid of all of those enemies, the Blue Magnus is going to return. Again, there aren't ads that you really have to pay attention to. Just go to town. You already took care of the ads in between the two rounds of the Blue Magnus. You have your allies there to help you out. But let me know in the comments section as we're finishing off this battle. What's been your favorite part of Immortal, Immortals of Avium thus far? I've really enjoyed a lot of the game. The story is pretty interesting. The boss battles haven't been insanely hard. I am playing on the hardest difficulty, the Immortal difficulty, and I haven't found too much of a struggle. Now, in those more difficult Shroud Fanes, the dens where you have to face those bosses, I've found that I've struggled in those, and it's probably because I don't have 
fully upgraded equipment. Those are meant for really just fully upgraded characters, and I'm not there yet, but I have enjoyed, outside of those where I've struggled, I have really enjoyed this game so far. But let me know in the comments section what you're thinking of this game. Where would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Is this one of your favorite games of all time? Did it miss the mark? I'm really curious to know your opinions again. I enjoy this game. Not necessarily the best of all time, but it has been fun in terms of gameplay, storyline. I've enjoyed it. Now, it is, I'm almost completing the game on the last chapter, so it's been a little bit shorter than I would have liked, and I would have preferred them to do some side quests, which really we don't have any. But outside of that, it's been really fun. Almost finishing off the Blue Magnus. It's about time to just finish this dude off, end his misery, so we can go on and defeat Sandrak and whatever else we gotta defeat. But he's done. I get Bailmore, and that's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, peace.